Hey everybody, it's uh, Friday, October 16th at, uh, oh, it's about 5.30. Gonna lose the light here pretty soon, but I was uh, down here working on something else when I decided to come down and catch the last light here at uh, the SN8. And there was a attempt to do a static fire last night. I don't know if it was for all three raptors, which is under the skirt right now. But uh, about 612-ish, 610, they did a detank, or at least that's when I caught up with it. And um, so they called off the uh, road closure today. I was heading out here this morning, but uh, instead I did some other things. But um, anyway, before <laughs> I said that, they uh, called off the road closure, and the only thing I can guess, I haven't read anything about this, but uh, we have a northern cold front moving in, and uh, some winds, and uh, the temperature is starting to drop. They called for 68 degrees by 5 o'clock this afternoon, which is past that now. Uh, let's see what time is it. Anyway, it's past 5 o'clock, so... This is the first time I've worn... It's the first time I've worn a jacket in the, mor in the morning. Sorry about that. So it did get colder today, uh, but not 68 degrees. And they're working. Not a lot. They're here, there, and everywhere. Not a lot of loads coming in this time either today, so I don't know. Let's go look around. Let's go. Well, I'm surprised I have not gotten stormed on yet, but I'm still standing out here till I see the first lightning strike. And uh, it is very, uh, the temperature's dropping, just since I said hello to you about five minutes ago. And uh, the skies have gotten really gray. I've had to change my setting twice. So we'll see here. There's still a lot of standing water on the side of the road and we're expecting some more rain and uh, the mosquitoes are pretty thick tonight.
Looks like a shift change for the welders. Some big tracks. It sounds like a chain fall. I can't see where it is. Okay, I was shielded behind the car and I came down to the um, uh, entrance gate and uh, oh, it's going to shine the light right on me. And um, that's kind of rude. But anyway, um, came down to the entrance gate to get a better angle. show you the entrance. And uh, you're looking kind of east, southeast. Actually, you're looking easterly. Um, there's the uh, launch mount. cold. Well, cold to me is 70. I'm sorry, you guys. And I'm from Alaska, but I've been down here so long, it's... My blood's getting thin. So these are the work lights. You heard them be getting cranked up and uh, getting into nighttime mode. Those are the lights that used to go in our bedroom window. I think they just follow me around. And uh, when SpaceX came to visit our house, they noticed the boards on the bedroom windows and they went, oh, we're so sorry. <laughs> I said, yeah, could you shine them the other way? And yeah, they did turn them out a couple of times on the holidays. Yeah, here we go. Here's uh I don't know if you can see it here. I'll walk down and get it, but I got some bad, bad news. You see that white container right there? That blocks the lunchroom, poppy lunchroom. And uh, the footings come all the way down to here where I'm standing, or the um, forms for the extended SpaceX Great Wall. Oh yeah. They're not gonna miss me, I don't think. I try not to take a picture of them when they're eating, that's for sure. I know I wouldn't like that. So this wind is just getting too much for me. Um, trying to keep the mic shielded. But here you can see the, the forms. And you can see how far down they're coming. They're going to come all the way to this gate, to this uh, truck entrance gate. This has a very wide, wide swing. So I call it the truck entrance. Which is what we used to call it. We were in trucks. You hit the truck entrance and don't go in the other entrance. Anyway, um, leave your comments on some of that. I know I've got a lot of truck drivers that follow me. I'm on a cord so I can't swing anymore. But anyway, I like to get out of his face. Oh, sounds like the gala. And, uh, storm probably will be a little later than what they called for. So I'll be home by then. Now I know you think this is the Highway 4, and it is Highway 4. 
but it doesn't look like a paved road anymore. It has so much embedded gravel on top of the blacktop that it's actually a little smoother than it used to be. <laughs> I don't know if they crushed it on top for on purpose or if it just turned out to be a good deal for all around. yelling's about. That guy is definitely not happy. He's waiting for somebody, that's what it is. done.